My first Dickens moment was when I was 11 and I read Oliver Twist at school. I knew from that minute that I was in the grip of something that I loved that I didn't want ever to leave and I never have. And he always does that and in Bleak House he does it. Right from that very first chapter, London, Michaelmas term lately, lately over. over. And the Lord Chancellor sitting in Lincoln's Inn Hall. Implacable November weather. As much mud in the streets as if the waters had been newly retired from the face of the earth. And it would not be wonderful to meet a megalosaurus, 40 feet long or so, waddling like an elephantine lizard up Hoban Hill. Every character is interlinked with another character. And the story is about whose mother is who, whose daughter is who. And it's really a, a section through England in the 19th century, from top to bottom, from the rich to the poor, from the wicked to the good. Smoke lowering down from chimney pots, making a soft black drizzle with flakes of soot in it as big as full-grown snowflakes. It's a very tough task when you're recording the book to make the vocal distinction, because after all, I'm only me. But I have to be the omniscient Charles Dickens, the narrator. And also I have to be Esther Summerson.